for faith to work, you must know that the thing you're asking is God's will. If you don't know it's God's will, guess what? It ain't going to work. Why? Because then it's not in faith. Now you're asking wondering. See? And whenever you ask wondering, you're not in faith, you're in hope. Hope has to be joined with faith for the hope to come to pass. Okay? Now, notice, uh, you also must know that God answers the prayer of faith. Now, see, the church as a whole, over the years, uh, for various reasons, has built into the people of the church this idea that, well, yeah, but if it's not, you know, maybe that's not God's will. If it's not, I'll pray, and if it's not God's will, then it won't happen. So if it doesn't happen, I'll know it wasn't God's will. And that's how they prayed for the sick. That's how they prayed for whatever emergency or whatever situation was going on in their life. But Jesus didn't say that. He said, whatever you ask. Now, I understand you have to know it's God's will, like we just said. What does that mean? That means, now, think about this. And actually, I love the way that uh, when I first heard some of this, I uh, first heard it from uh, Kenneth Hagin, and then later from Dr. Sumerall. And I got a lot more from Dr. Sumerall because I was with him personally longer and was able to ask questions and that kind of stuff. But with Brother Hagin, you just kind of sat in the audience, and that was it. And so whenever he would talk about, he actually called, well, he went along with E.W. Kenyon and said the faith, this faith business or the prayer business, he said prayer should be like a business transaction. And see, a lot of people don't like that. Why? Because they have the idea that God is only a relational God and only does things based on relation, but that's not true. He's also a just God. And he, and he also keeps his word no matter what. And so there's all these aspects. And if you, well, don't have time to go into all of it right now. But what he said to do at this point, and it really, it's, it's, it holds up, especially along these lines, is that most people pray too soon. In other words, a thing happens or they see it and they see it coming. And so they just start praying. You know, as we used to call them, shotgun prayers. That means you just shoot out there and see if you hit something. And that's, those kind of prayers don't work, right? What you need are sniper prayers. <laughs> I say we were militant, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, but you get the idea. See, you can just point and shoot, you know? Uh, you can do that with several, you know, we used to call it just you know, <laughs> spray and pray, you know? <laughs> That means you point a direction, pull a trigger, and hope you hit something. And so, but now, and it takes no skill to do that. It takes less skill to hit something with a scatter gun, as they would say, or <laughs> they had all kinds of good names for them, but for, with a shotgun type of gun. And so, but then if you're going to be a sniper, it, it can take years to train to be a good sniper. Why? You have to know every click, everything, windage, I mean, the rotation of the earth, all this stuff that comes into being a good sniper. And that's why they always say one shot, one kill. Why? Because they're that good. And see, many times, uh, well, if you study law enforcement at all, uh, sometimes you'll see law enforcement that can shoot eight to ten times and sometimes still not even hit their target. Sometimes they'll hit their target two out of those eight or ten times. Think about that. And they're trained. So how much less would somebody not be able to hit it that wasn't trained? And so prayer is the same thing. You want to pray effectively. He said the effectual, effective, accurate, fervent. So now we know part of the key to prayer is that you have to really want it. This can't just be something in passing. See, we, you've already learned this and might not have realized what you were learning whenever I was teaching a while back on uh, the topic of what wilt thou that I should do unto you? Because that word will didn't just mean, well, you know, what do you want? No, you know, what's on your mind? No, no, no. That word will means what is your intense desire? What is your intention? What do you expect? 
right? And it has to do, in other words, it wasn't just a matter of, okay, what can I do for you? And being polite, it was, no, what do you will that I should do for you? In other words, I'll do it for you if you're really willing it. But if you're just haphazard about it. See, this is why, this, this is why most people's prayers aren't answered. Most Christians' prayers aren't answered. Why? Because they're not fervent. They're not accurate. They're not effectual. Because they don't go after it. And it means that. And if it doesn't happen, oh, well, I got a backup plan. Don't worry. That's not the way prayer works. But the way, first thing you have to do is find out exactly what you need done. And then you need to find out, okay, is that promised? Did God promise that he would meet that, that problem? And then that means you need to go back and find it is written. And you need to be able to apply it is written to that need. And whenever you gather that, see, it's, it's almost like a lawyer going to court. He has to prepare his case. And to prepare that case, he has to have law and precedent. He looks back and says, well, you, here is this case and this was going on and you did this. And it's the same thing with God. God said, here, let us come together. Let us reason together. He said, plead your case. And so it is up to us to go to God, not just going to go, oh, God, I just need help. And I believe you're good because you're, you know, you're a good father. So I think you'll do it. God said, I would love to do it, but that's not the basis. See, the basis is faith. And you can't have faith if you don't know that that's my will. And people say, well, I got that covered. I just pray. Lord, if it be thy will. And God says, uh, no, that's not the way it works. Find my will, remind me of my will, and then pray that in faith, expecting that it has already been paid for and it's already done, and now you are receiving it today yourself. Amen. And when you do that, you start to get answers.